Okay, now I'm gonna turn on mastering and let's listen to the difference. Whether you're hearing your song in the car, on your headphones, or even on a Bluetooth speaker, you really want it to sound consistent throughout all different listening experiences. And if your track is mastered correctly, it will have that finished, polished sound no matter where you play it. Hello everyone, my name is Mine. In today's video, we'll be going over the basics of what mastering is and how to do it easily and for free with BandLab. I will be giving various tips on the differences between mixing and mastering, how to set up your track the right way for mastering, why mastering is absolutely an essential part of the process when trying to complete a song, and basically just the fundamental things you have to know before you master a track. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be on your way to master mastering. Before we dive any deeper into what mastering is, I think it's a good idea to distinguish the differences between mixing and mastering. Mixing is basically the process of blending all the tracks you have in your song together to where they sound sonically pleasing and cohesive. And it's where you add things like, you know, reverb or delay or any type of creative things you want to add to your song. Mixing is really where you get to control and steer the sound that you want for your track. Whereas mastering, you're not touching the individual tracks in a song more as the final track as a whole. Mastering is more focused on subtle adjustments rather than really changing the sound of the song. So to go a little bit more in depth into what happens to your track when you master it, the first thing mastering does to your track is that it makes sure it is where it needs to be volume wise making sure that it is loud enough to compete with other songs or even sometimes turning it down if it's too loud another thing mastering does in your tracks is it really balances out all the sonics in your track let's say you have a kick that is very very loud and a bass that isn't quite as loud mastering will make sure that we're pulling all the volumes closer together so it sounds a little bit more glued and cohesive essentially mastering is taking your demos or your rough ideas and turning them into fully finished songs ready to be distributed and before you head into the mastering process for your track you really want to make sure that you know that mastering won't save your song. If you don't like the demo you recorded or the rough version of your song already as it is, you probably won't like it much after it's mastered. Mastering isn't here to take your okay song to a great song. It's there to take a great song to an amazing song. And mastering really is like the last 5% of your song. So don't let it hold too much creative power over your process. All right, now it is finally time to try out BandLab mastering on your mobile device. You could also do this on your desktop, PC, whatever you're on. Just go to bandlab.com slash master. The process is basically exactly the same. All right, so we have opened our band lab project, and this is just the mixed version. This is not mastered, so let's just give it a listen to see how it's sounding. Can we compromise? See the other side, baby. I'm just trying to clear the view. Okay, so that sounds cool. It doesn't sound mastered yet. It's not fully that loud or crisp, but we can fix that. But before we head into the mastering process, you want to make sure you're giving yourself enough headroom, making sure things aren't too loud before you master it. Because as you know, when we master, it's going to get that additional volume boost, so we don't want anything to be clipping. So if you swipe to the side, on the app there's actually this like monitoring window that shows you if your track is clipping or not so let's go ahead and play it so can you meet me halfway? so you want to make sure you're giving yourself at least negative three to negative six db of headroom before entering mastering because as you can see this isn't clipping but i'll turn up the master volume and you'll start to see as the red light goes on that means we're clipping and distorting and we do not want to be there so let's just turn it up so every time that red light blinks that means you're going over zero db which means you're clipping and we do not want to be clipping so just another small little step you got to make sure you're giving yourself that headroom so when you do master you have room to turn up that track all right so when you are ready to master your song what you want to do is click up on the top right click publish let's go ahead and name our track compromise head down click additional settings and mastering so BandLab gives you four different presets to choose from, universal, fire, clarity, and tape. So Universal Preset is going to give you a song that is dynamic and loud, and it works well with most tracks, hence why it's called Universal. Now let's hear the before and after with the Universal Preset applied. Feel the warmth that's in my smile, want you to stay here for a while, baby please don't let me down, hold your head and now let's turn it on. See the other side, baby, I'm just trying to clear the view in another life. A past will still collide. 
Sounds incredible. So the universal preset is going to sound good with any genre, but once again, this is also a creative decision you're making when choosing your preset. So I would go for the universal preset for things like pop, you know, r and I wouldn't recommend it as much for like a hip hop song as usually those songs are a little bit more gritty, have a little bit more lo-fi sound to them. And sometimes people don't want a super clean sound. So that's up to you to decide. Now let's move on to the next preset, which is fire. So the fire preset is designed to give you a punchy low end and some mid range clarity. So let's listen to the before and after with this preset applied. So can you meet me halfway? Say the things you need to say. Baby, it sounds warm. Don't walk away. Can we turn the other page? So I personally think that this preset doesn't work as well for this song, but I think this preset would be perfect for hip hop or rap songs as it's going to give you that warmth and texture that people look for in hip hop songs. So if you're looking for a more gritty, more dirty sound, I would definitely go with that fire preset. All right, now let's move on to the clarity preset. Do a little before and after again. Baby, I'm just trying to clear the view in another life. A past was still mm. could lie. So can you meet me halfway? Say the thing. I really like that one. So the clarity preset is really doing what it's saying. It's giving you a pristine, clear, high end and really balancing out the dynamics in your song. You can hear when I turned it on, the song just got so much more crispier and it sounded a little bit more alive. So I think this preset is amazing, especially for a song where you really want your vocals to shine and stand out and really be heard. So the tape preset is really set to give your song that analog warmth feeling, makes it sound very vintage and it works really well for like hip hop beats or lo-fi. So let's go ahead and listen to it before and after with the tape preset. Please don't let me down. Hold your head and hold your crown Compromise, see the other side Baby, I'm just trying to clear the view In another life, a past we still could lie So can you meet me halfway? So I actually really like that preset. It's giving me that clarity that the other two presets are giving me, but it's just also giving me this warmth and this analog feel that I really, really do like. So honestly, the tape preset works very well for R&B because you can still hear the vocals. They're clear and they're nice, but also just has that warmth and that little like vinyl sound to it, which is really, really nice. But I think I'm going to have to go. Say the things you need to say, baby, please don't walk away. I'm gonna have to go with the universal preset for this one because I just feels like it gives it the biggest appeal. It makes it sound the loudest and grandest, which is what I personally want for this song. Don't forget, this is a creative decision. So really use your ears to see what works best for your track. Make sure you try out each preset to see which one resonates the most with you and the one that works best for the track you're currently working on. I'd also recommend maybe using some reference tracks of how you'd like your track to sound as having some sort of direction sonically will always help you. All right, once you feel like you found the preset that works the best for your track, all you have to do is click apply and you should be good to go. And now to export your track, all you have to do is click on this arrow, click download, download as audio, and make sure to save to files, click save, and you're all good to go. Now that we've distinguished exactly what mastering is and the differences between mixing and mastering, let's move on to BandLab's free mastering tool and how it allows you to take more of a creative approach to mastering rather than a technical one, which is what I love so much about it. So first off, BandLab mastering is insanely fast. It is up to 10 times faster than other free mastering services out there. It is also obviously completely free, so you do not need any budget to get your song to sound professional. No subscription models or hidden fees. Thank you, BandLab gods. It was also made by world-class artists and engineers, so the quality will definitely be there as well. And as I said earlier, BandLab makes the process so simple because they just give you four presets to choose from. I think this gives you an amazing opportunity to master with your ears rather than your eyes. Because instead of giving a bunch of different plugins with all these parameters, you're given these four options to choose from and you could really just do it to your taste. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little bit on what mastering is and how to do it effectively and efficiently with BandLab. So make sure you go and give it a try after watching this video and let me know which preset works best for your tracks. Happy music making. See you next time. Peace.